Hi students. I am Paul, your MATLAB assignment tutor for the day. Of late, many students have been complaining that they are unable to use MATLAB properly. Today I am going to answer all your queries on MATLAB. MATLAB is a highly performing language for technical computing. It combines visual, mathematical and technical computations in an easy-to-use environment to yield desired results. It is provided with wide range of tools for computational analysis, analysis and control, communications, signaling and in other fields. The word MATLAB is a combination of two words matrix and laboratory. We can perform various functions using MATLAB like Maths and computation Development of algorithms Modeling, simulation and prototyping Visualization, exploration and data analysis Create accurate engineering and scientific graphics You need to have basic mathematical skills along with the knowledge of Linear algebra Calculus Differential equations Eigen and singular values to ACE MATLAB Certain numerical techniques The algorithms you create using MATLAB can be easily integrated into other languages like Microsoft Excel, C, Java etc. and deploy applications within various enterprise and production systems. While other programming languages usually work with numbers, one at a time, you can use a whole matrix or array of numbers on MATLAB. When you open MATLAB on your desktop or laptop, you would get the following view. The MATLAB operation screen has many parts. Each part has its own functions like current folder. This section helps you to access the project folders and files. Command window. This is the main area where commands are entered for any kind of operation. Workspace. The workspace shows all the variables entered in command lines and or imported from files. Command history. This panel shows or return commands that are entered at the command line. The entire MATLAB program comprises of five parts. The MATLAB language. High-level matrix slash array language with control flow statements, functions, data structures, input-output, and object-oriented programming features. The language offers high-level commands for animation, 2D and 3D visualization aside other functions. The MATLAB working environment. Includes options for working and managing the variables, includes options for importing and exporting data. The data can be assessed from text files, spreadsheets and hardware etc. You can explore the data to identify different trends, test assumptions, hypothesis, correlate with other tests, and estimate uncertainty. Create customized algorithms, visualizations, and models. Includes tools for creating, sorting, debugging, and managing M files. Handle graphics. Two-dimensional and three-dimensional data visualization, image processing, animation, and presentation graphics functions of graphical user interface. The MATLAB Mathematical Function Library allows you to do mathematical operations like sum, linear equations, calculus and computational algorithm. The MATLAB Application Program Interface allows you to write C and Fortran programs that interact with MATLAB. Next up on this video, we are going to talk about the suites of codes that MATLAB uses. MATLAB Coder first. The coder generates C and C++ code using the MATLAB code for a variety of hardware platforms. The coder also supports most of the MATLAB languages along with a wide range of toolboxes. You can integrate the generated code into your projects as static or dynamic libraries or a source code. The MATLAB coder usually generates code from a broad range of MATLAB language features which includes over 1900 operators and functions for MATLAB and companion toolboxes. Now let's explore the second suite of MATLAB Coder which is Simulink. Simulink is a simulation and design environment that can be used for dynamic and embedded systems. The environment is integrated with MATLAB and serves as a graphical programming language tool that you can use for modeling, simulating and analyzing multi-domain dynamic system. You can do multiple academic works on MATLAB. You can work out complex linear algebra equations using MATLAB. If you are a finance student, then you can use MATLAB to predict the company turnover ascertain inventory, create financial plans and base business decisions on the analysis of company data. Researchers use MATLAB for verifying answers, finding solutions and determining how solutions would be used. MATLAB is used to create detailed graphical representations of data to explain results to readers and users of the paper, the same kind used in global positioning systems another area in which MATLAB is extensively used is that of image processing. The software can be used to manage the pixels of an image using math techniques by simply modifying the matrix values. It is also used in medical image processing. For example, 
MATLAB is the software that is mostly used for a brain MRI image. Here is a list of all the toolboxes that MATLAB is equipped with. Simulink Bioinformatics Toolbox Communication System Toolbox Computer Vision System Toolbox Control System Toolbox Curve Fitting Toolbox DSP System Toolbox Data Acquisition Toolbox Database Toolbox Data Feed Toolbox Econometric Toolbox Embedded Coder Financial Instruments Toolbox Financial Toolbox Fixed Point Toolbox Global Optimization Toolbox Image Acquisition Toolbox Image Processing Toolbox Instrument Control Toolbox MATLAB Coder MATLAB Compiler Model Predictive Control Toolbox Neural Network Toolbox Optimization Toolbox Partial Differential Equation Toolbox RF Toolbox Real-Time Windows Target Robust Control Toolbox Signal Processing Toolbox Symbiology Sim Events Sim Hydraulics Sim Mechanics Sim Power Systems Simscape Simulink 3D Animation Simulink Coder Simulink Control Design Spreadsheet Link X State Flow Statistics Toolbox I have been going on and on about the features and uses of MATLAB. But now we come to the most crucial section, where I teach you how to use it in its various toolboxes for solving your assignment. Let us first see how to use Simulink to solve a MATLAB assignment. To open Simulink, you need to type in Simulink in the MATLAB workspace and open it using the library browser. You can find several libraries categorized on the basis of various systems on the left side window pane as shown below. Click on the system you want to use. On clicking, you will see the design blocks displayed on the right window pane. If you want to create a new model using Simulink, just click on the new button on the library browser's toolbar to open a new untitled model window. If you want to add model elements, just select the appropriate elements from the library browser and drag them into the model window. Alternately, you can copy the elements and paste them into the model window too. Let me explain it using an example, we have selected the simple simulation option. The window opens like the one shown we observe the output using the scope block. A sine wave is generated like the one shown below on clicking the scope block. It is amplified by a factor of 3 when clicked on the gain block. The saturation denotes the user in the lower limit of the wave. So on clicking on saturation block you can set the upper and lower limits of the sine curve. The saturation block will open the upper and lower limit box like the one shown. You can use the library browser to select blocks, add them, merge them or do any kind of operations. More details on each MATLAB toolboxes will be shown on coming videos.